On this Thursday of the first week of Advent, the church celebrates the memorial of St. Francis Xavier, priest. Our presider today is Father Bill. I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will tell of your name to my kin. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus be with all of you. And with with your your spirit. spirit. We take a moment and we ask the Lord for continued forgiveness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, have have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ, have have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, have have mercy. mercy. Now may God have mercy on us, forgive us all of our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the preaching of St. Francis Xavier won many peoples to yourself, grant that the hearts of the faithful may burn with the same zeal for the faith, and the Holy Church may everywhere rejoice in an abundance of offspring. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day they will sing this song in the land of Judah. A strong city have we. He sets up walls and ramparts to protect us. Open up the gates to let in a nation that is just, one that keeps faith. A nation of firm purpose you keep in peace in peace for its trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord is an eternal rock. He humbles those in high places, and the lofty city he brings down. He tumbles it to the ground, levels it with the dust. It is trampled underfoot by the needy, by the footsteps of the poor. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed Blessed is is he he who comes comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. Blessed Blessed is is he he who comes comes in the name of the Lord. Open to me the gates of justice. I will enter them and give thanks to the Lord. This gate is the Lord's. The just shall enter it. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my Savior. Blessed Blessed is is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, grant prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. Blessed Blessed is is he who comes in the name of the Lord.
Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Seek the Lord while he may be found, call him while he is near. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, but it did not collapse. It had been set solidly on rock. And everyone who listens to these words of mine but does not act on them will be like a fool who built his house on sand. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, and it collapsed and was completely ruined. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. I am sure for some it was way back, but I am sure you've heard the story of the three little pigs. Two of the three were foolish and built their house of straw and twigs. And when the wolf came, huffed and puffed and blew their house down and ate up those two little pigs. Then the third one, oh, he had foresight and built the house of brick and mortar and so the wolf was unable to blow that house down. And then I'm sure you've heard many a time that Jesus says anyone who hears his words and puts them into practice is like that wise person who built their house on rock. And so we too in this time of Advent we're called to build our spiritual home on the Word of God. And that is what will make the difference. Let us pray. For our church, led by Pope Francis, as we work to prepare ourselves and the world for the coming of the Lord through our works of mercy and mission of evangelization, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For civic leaders and public servants, for a heartfelt commitment to the common good, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those rebuilding after natural disasters and for generosity in those who remain unharmed, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this worshiping community that we rouse ourselves to cling to God this Advent, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the sick and those who care for them, that they know the compassionate love of Jesus especially 
Gabby Short, Deacon Rick Pomfrey, Brendan Mills, Alice Dernan Cassidy, Mary Dawkin, Barbara Tovar, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who have died, especially Mark Barndoller, Polly Frizzi, Carol Serino, and all victims of war and violence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the petitions written in our book of petitions and all the intentions we hold faithfully in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord God, we ask you to hear all of our prayers and grant these good things through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, God be God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, be God forever. forever. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept, accept this sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, these offerings we bring you in commemoration of St. Francis Xavier and grant that his, as he journeyed to distant lands, out of longing for the salvation of souls, so we too, bearing effective witness to the gospel, may, with our brothers and sisters, eagerly hasten toward you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them up, up to the, the Lord. Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and, just. and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. And we do this through Christ. For... On the festival of St. Francis Xavier, you build your church rejoice. So too, you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we join in the hymn of your praise as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, hosts heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
Hosanna Hosanna in the the highest. highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior Savior of the world. world. For by by your your cross cross and resurrection, resurrection, you you have have set set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on all of us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Our Father, Father, who who art art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy thy name. Thy Thy kingdom kingdom come, come, thy thy will be done, on on earth earth as it is is in heaven. heaven. Give Give us us this this day our our daily bread, bread, and and forgive forgive us our our trespasses, trespasses, as as we forgive forgive those who trespass trespass against against us. us. And And lead lead us not not into temptation, temptation, but but deliver deliver us from from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, (laughs) from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, kingdom, and the power, and the glory are yours, 
now Now and and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. For you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And And with with your your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you you take take away away the sins sins of the world. world. Have Have mercy mercy on us. Lamb Lamb of God, God, you you take take away the the sins sins of the world. world. Have Have mercy mercy on us. Lamb Lamb of God, God, you you take take away away the sins sins of the world. world. Grant Grant us us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we, called to the supper of the Lord. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy worthy that that you should enter enter under my my roof, but but only only say the word, word, and my my soul soul shall be healed. Amen. What I say to you in the darkness, speak in the light, says the Lord. What you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. May your mysteries, O Lord, kindle in us that fire of charity with which Saint Francis Xavier burned for the salvation of souls. So that walking ever more worthily in our vocation, we may obtain with him the reward you promise to those who labor well in your harvest. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And with with your your spirit. spirit. May God continue to bless all of us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks Thanks be be to to God. God.